This programme is fully sponsored by Global Eagle Revival Outreach Ministries, a not-for-profit organisation. To support our broadcast to reach others like you, kindly send support to Zenith Bank, Ghana. Account number 60124020666. Account name, Global Eagle Revival Outreach Ministries. La Trade Fair Branch, Camp. Mobile Money Account, Merchant, 0544-859-007. Name, Global Eagle Revival Outreach Ministry. Reference, Revelations or TWMG. Time with Mommy Grace. You are watching Revelations, and my name is Mami Grace. I am Revelations, the biggest spiritual platform. We talk everything spirituality here. And then I remember when we posted this man, his name was a problem. And the topic was another problem. And we posted a bit of his videos. Mm. And the comment was a blast. So today we have him on set. I don't know how the atmosphere is going to be like. But he's here. I want him to introduce himself because the name was a problem for you, the followers. So he should mention his name by himself. <laughs> yeah, so once again, I welcome the beautiful viewers to your beautiful show, Revelations. Yeah. Okay. Ora, I welcome you. Please, eh, introduce, mention your name. Introduce yourself to my beautiful viewers. Mm. Um, my name is um, Jesus El Immortal, an apostle of the unknown mysteries of immortality. Um, that's what I would say. Um, if there's some more questions. He said, he said he's Jesus. Jesus El Immortal. Jesus El Immortal. Yeah. What is the difference between my Jesus and your Jesus? Your name, Jesus? It's the same. Um, depends on... I am not dealing with the religious Jesus. I'm dealing with Jesus as the word. As the word. What is the meaning of Jesus, the word? John chapter 1, verse 1. In the beginning was the word. The word was with God. The word was God. Uh -huh. Verse 14. Um, the word became flesh, dwelt amongst men. We beheld the glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, Jesus. Mm -hmm. So there's a difference between Jesus as the word mm -hmm. and Jesus as the religious figure. As the religious figure. And the misunderstanding of these two is what has brought the problem in the body of Christ. And, so, and, and, and I can tell you for a fact, the next generation coming, there will be no Christianity. Okay. The next generation coming, there will be no Christianity. I want to know the difference. Yeah. I want to know your name, the Jesus you are quoting from the Bible. Yeah. And then the different, that name and the name, the Jesus religious uh, figure. What is the difference? Um, the religious figure. Now, now, when I say Jesus, the religious figure, it is not as if he came as a religious figure. Mm -hmm. It is the misconception, the misunderstanding that has created him as a religious figure. Okay. But you look at um, John chapter 10 verse 10. Right there and there, Jesus gives his, his, um, his mission statement. And he says, the thief cometh not, but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But I have come that you will have life. He didn't say I came to take you to heaven. That's religious. You see, a religion is to communicate something that is baseless. Huh? A religion is to speak a baseless, to bring about a baseless information. For instance, the, the thought of heaven is baseless. It doesn't make sense as far as calculability is concerned. It doesn't make sense to you. No, 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 no. Wait, I'm, I'm, I am not... I'm not, I don't teach, you see, you can argue belief systems. You can't argue one plus one being two. So I'm not those people who teach belief systems. So you can argue with me. I am talking about things that are calculable. They are two different things. Now, Jesus did not come 
as a religious figure, mm -hmm. the things he taught were calculable. Okay? And if we have anyone to blame for the problems we are having today, mm -hmm. for people like Avram Ben Moshe, I really have a problem with people like that. Mm -hmm. Because as much as they are wise, their wisdom is being affected. And I, I don't mean just him. There is a group of people coming that way. You know, it's actually not their fault, but the fault of our forefathers in the body of Christ and also our fathers today. What are you trying to say right now? <laughs> no, I, I want to understand. What I'm trying to make us understand clearly is there is a difference between a religion. For instance, if you are called a Christian, you are religious. If you are a Christian, you are religious. The word Christian has nothing to do with what Jesus even came to do. If you say you are a son of God, then you are not a Christian. Because the word Christian is the Greek word Christianus, which means follower of Christ. It is the people of the time of Jesus who followed him. Okay. After, his, his res, after his resurrection, he was not being followed. Those who were now connected to him were now his sons. In fact, he even called them brothers. So there is a difference between being a follower and being born of him. When you are born of him, you are Christ. You are not Christian. Okay, let me come back. I'm going to take things with you very slowly. <laughs> Let me bounce back. In your submission, mm -hmm. in just this five minutes, you said the problem we are having with religion, mm -hmm. and you made example with the of, body of Christ, with the body of Christ, and you made example of Abraham and Moshe, mm -hmm. and then you you pointed out where the problem is coming mm -hmm. from. It's like our forefathers and like our bishops. Mm -hmm. What have they done? I, 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 with all due respect, okay, I think it's about time we call a spade a spade because some of us are also controlling flocks, okay, and they are bringing a whole lot of confusion. It's so sad to speak, but I would say this point blank that what they call the wickedness of the devil is actually working against the church by our own fathers in the body of Christ. Do you know what you are saying is very big? I, I know exactly what I'm talking about. Break it down. Because as we speak right now, from our very forefathers to they themselves, they don't even read the Bible. The bishops don't Do read Do you Bible. know that if Avram Ben Moshe, I want to really, I, I appreciate him in a way, in a way. Do you know that of a truth, till now I've been watching to find one single man of God who can stand before him and be able to shut him up but they are not you know why because they are storytellers the when bishops in ghana are storytellers that is the truth are you serious with all due respect are you really are you serious <laughs> with all due respect you see the problem is that we are hanged on to history one of the biggest one of the biggest sign of um, um immaturity is to debate history because history is that which happened when you were not there so history was not designed for us to debate nor affirm or or or, 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 or agree to history was designed for us to calculate and see whether it is true or not so i'm not supposed to read about the birth of jesus the stories that are in the bible and just take them as they were just as they are I am supposed to scrutinize it and ask myself, does it make sense? And that is where Avram Ben Moshe is coming from. Uh -huh. So people like Avram Ben Moshe will keep having authority to speak against the body of Christ. And guess what? The flocks are getting lost. And many of the people of Avram Ben Moshe are rising so strong. And in no time, there will be no Christianity. Is it because of Avram Ben Moshe? There the will no group of such. And the problem is, Avram Ben Moshe... It's not accurate. He couldn't have been accurate if he was dealing with Jesus, not the religious figure. All right? He wouldn't have been accurate. But now he is accurate because he is dealing with Jesus, 
that has been made a religious figure. That has, no, now I don't want Avram to be the focus. Here. No, no, Avram is not the focus. His the, group of people. His group of people. They, I don't still want them to be the focus. My, the reason I'm dwelling at this particular point is that you said it's our forefathers mm -hmm. and our leaders, the mm -hmm. bishops, and mm -hmm. the, mm -hmm. they are the reason mm -hmm. Avram is doing what it is. I want to know what they have done, and I want you to break it down one after mm -hmm. the other. You see, we are having a problem where there is a misunderstanding between a God-ordained man of God mm -hmm. and men-ordained men of God. A Bible school was never supposed to declare who is a man of God. The scriptures are clear on this saying that who the Lord has sent speaketh the word of God. Automatically, you should be born with the ability to have the wisdom of God even beyond the Bible. Is that not spirituality? That is spirituality which is different from religion. Yes. Okay, now what are we saying over here? The, if you are a man of God, you are supposed to be characterized by one who is not controlled by the Bible. You don't say, let us go into the Bible. Whatever the Bible says is final. And for a great man of God to say that, you haven't even begun. Because you are supposed to understand that it's a historical book. Therefore, you are supposed to come with a spirit that scrutinizes the word. You don't follow the word. The word is supposed to be able to align with the truth you have come from, you have come with from above. You are saying that like we should let the spirit of God that dwells in us communicate with us mm -hmm. than to dwell, uh, depends on what is being written. No, the problem is what is written is not the word of God. It is the biography of people who, in fact, let, let us say this. Let's week, say some people's experience with the who God, claim, with God. Who claim mm -hmm. to have walked with God. So for you to emphasize emphatically that this is what the Lord is saying based on the 66, then we have a problem here. We are making a, 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 some kind of sense because... Um, salvation is individual. You can actually depends on somebody's experience and mm -hmm. see. Now, me, my, the reason we are here about this particular point is that you are trying to blame or push the blame on the bishops and our forefathers. That's why I am on this very particular question or this particular point. Recently, recently, you realize that some people were speaking tongues and all that, and all these bishops have started speaking against it, that it's not good, it's mm -hmm. not good. Mm -hmm. Don't you think that these bishops are trying to control the crowd, mm -hmm. but the crowd are difficult? Um, you, you don't control a crowd by destroying their strengths. Speaking in the unknown tongue, according to the scripture, edifies, it charges, it builds you up. The problem is, do you know that since I began my, my born again life, I have not had any single man of God to be able to teach on the unknown tongue beyond the scriptures. They just read quotations. But there is more to speak in the unknown tongue. First of all, to be able to understand what it means to speak in the unknown tongue, you need to understand what a language is. The word tongue means language. So until you understand what a language is, you can't even begin to talk about it. For instance, with all due respect, Papa Otabel was the one who began it. And what he said was the fact that um, there is a new group of people in the system today who go, hey ba, 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 hey ba. How can you just be going, hey ba, hey ba, hey ba, hey ba? That is not speaking in tongues. That is foolishness and that. Now, such a communication first of all, breaks the spirit of those who are growing up. Number two, it's actually not true. What is a language? A language communicates your thoughts. Which one is not true? Break it down. Is it what Pastor Otabel is saying? What that Papa Otabel said is not true. That is foolish. In the first place, in the first, he said that, he, I, I like what he said, he said he does not think. And immediately you bring the word, you do not think that is the way it is supposed to be. Then you shouldn't have said it in the first place because you don't know what you are saying. And they have forgotten that as elders and fathers, whatever they say either makes or breaks 
the body of Christ and those who are coming up. Okay, and what he said was not even true in the first place. And to cap it all up, the, the biggest, our Papa, when it comes to prayer, his word is final. Papa Archbishop comes and caps it up and actually calls it very foolish. It is foolish to pray that way. And as far as I'm concerned, ages back, this is how I knew sons and daughters around Papa over the ages praying. They prayed monosyllabic. This is how they prayed. And why is it wrong to pray monosyllabic in tongues? Here, 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 here. Now, the thing they don't get is the fact that they don't even know that it, it, speaking in an unknown tongue is actually an enchantment process. Numbers 23, 23 says, There is no enchantment, no divination against Jacob or Israel that shall prosper. Jacob, Israel, um, the, the church today are adopted Israelites. In other words, there is no enchantment against the church that shall stand. How will this happen? Does it just get up happening? The scripture talks about the Father. He will give you the keys of the kingdom. So everything God gives and makes available, he gives you key to unlock. How do we unlock that dimension where when they enchant, it does not work? Ecclesiastes 10, 11. It says, the serpent will bite without enchantment. Oh, so the kingdom of darkness chants and the kingdom of light also chants. Do ministers of God know this? How do you enchant? Enchantment is monosyllabic. You pick one word and keep speaking it again, again, and again until it catches fire. So when I go, Rabba, 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 I am actually better than the one who is going, Leko Rate, Elo Shaparadiga, Elo Sarada. Why? Language communicates thoughts. So it doesn't matter how I am speaking the language. It is what I am saying from my mind that actually matters, not the sound. And for you to think of the sound as a man of God, you are being carnal. You are now being carnal. You are being of the flesh. You are trying to look at the way we talk on earth to find out that how many words did I say for which I interpreted it and said they are coming to us. And yet you say, here, here, how can here, here be they are coming to us? You are being carnal. You are not being spiritual. Because spiritual things and physical things are worlds apart. And for our fathers to say this, I was broken. And who again? Majority obviously follow the that trend and we have a group of people who are also condemning it so okay you yourself that is sitting here right now what do you want these people they didn't help the reason Abraham and some group of people are going i mean haywire and you these same people they are co correcting others who are saying hey ha hey ha that one too you said it's not biblical it's not what it's they are not being spiritual what do you want these bishops to do for you to know that they are doing something that you won't blame them tomorrow for whatever? Uh, it's as simple as that. Let us teach the truth. Which is? Why Jesus came in the first place. Why did he come in the first place? Immortality. Life and immortality. That's why he came. That's why that that is what I said from the very beginning. Mm -hmm. John 10.10. 10. The thief cometh not but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But I have come that you might have life so every minister of god has only one agenda to teach about life to teach about life we will come here right now you yourself what are you i'm an apostle of immortality what do you mean by when you say immortality what are you talking about i'm talking about living forever in you, this body you living forever yes in this your body yes you won't die that is what i'm talking about i'm an apostle and a student of it you are apostle here. That is just titles. No, no. Being an apostle is not a title. It's what? Just as Jeremiah chapter 1 talks about it. It says, when I was a clot of blood in my mother's womb, he knew me and had already ordained me as a prophet. That is where the problem is. An apostle is not a title. It's a spirit. It's a spirit. So now we want to know who you are. Come down and tell us who you are. We must know who you are, where you started this whole thing from, blah, 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 and how far you have become. You have come. Oh. And how come all the jobs, all the works in Ghana or in the world, you decided to be an apostle? 
What were you doing before? What happens to you? Okay, I'm, 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 like I said, uh, my name is Jesus Ali Mortal. Uh, and I'm also... No. One out two, Moody. Mm-hmm. One out two, Moody. Yeah, and it is, um, it's my registered name. I know it's your registered name. I want to know what your mother and your father gave you. Um, my, my, my parents gave me Sheriff. Sheriff. Now, what's <laughs> Jesus? Who do you Um, so, um... I grew up not knowing anything of this, this sort. I, I will cut it short by saying I, I, I was first into the things of darkness, demonic stuff. I've been there. I used to live in eczema. I would call myself almost a fetish priest because I, I was connected to the water world, connected to the, um, to the malams, um, wizards and all that. I knew all that. And then I remember I took a charm and came to Tema to come and swindle people and um, waving handkerchiefs and swindling people because actually after some time in my life, I am not one of those who had it rosy from the very beginning. So I was sort of a street boy and so I led my own life. So when I came to Tema to do those things, um, I had a place where I used to play table tennis at community, community one side two. And so the table tennis um, owner used to worry me to take me to church and I will not, I will not budge. But finally he caught me by um, giving me the chance to be the, the one who controlled the table tennis. And so I had the chance to play as much as I wanted. That got me um, a relationship with him and then that is how he got me to church one day. I don't know what happened. Before I could say Jack, I was in front and I gave my life to Christ. Now after some time, um, with my background in the demonic world, knowing what power was, I was having a problem because I was sick and tired with the Bible stories and the coat of many colors and the, the blessing of Joseph is coming on you. I'm not Joseph. I, I mean, the straight to the point things I was expecting, I wasn't getting it, so I stopped. Along the line, I started hearing um, Pastor Chris Oyakilome, and I thought, wow, well, this, this is sounding better. So I stopped, I stopped going to church, and I was now indoors. All the time, we go for his messages, listen to his messages, and uh, that was how I, I had an encounter. In a vision, I saw a man whose head I could not see. I found myself kneeling in front of him and then he poured a full jar of honey. I had seen many people anointed with oil. They always talk about oil, but I was anointed with a full jar of honey. As he poured it on me and I was under the anointing, I saw in front of me eggs broken as if they were going to use it for omelets. And when the anointing that is on my head, the, the honey on my head will fall into the egg, it fried. And then I was wobbling, putting my hands in it. And then he started speaking to me that he has mandated me with the mandate of immortality to go about and then teach on the word of immortality. And then just as that which was not cooked, the life, you no know, egg stands for life, the life that are not cooked, were cooked, fried as a result of the honey falling into it, so shall my words cause the life of people to be cooked. And um, from then, it began. I actually began um, going from buses to buses preaching. Um, after some time, I started getting more revelations to this, to the extent that um, the knowledge I used to have from Pastor Chris, even that now became shady because now he was really speaking to me and opening my eyes to deeper stuff. Right now, the things I speak, they are way far away from the things that even Papa Christ speaks. In fact, when I speak right now, it will be as if I'm an antichrist, you know. So that, that's about it. And you have no idea. He started showing me my identity and showed me how I'm an ancient of days person as far as my spirit is concerned. And I just know things. So is this God that was showing you all these things? Of course. How do you know it was God? I know, I know it is God because it's beyond, it's beyond humanity. It's beyond the wisdom of man.
If it's beyond the Now, when you say God, are you talking about the difference between Satan and God, light and darkness? No, I mean the God, mm -hmm. the creator. Yeah. That, that's who was talking yeah, to yeah, you. Yeah, of course. Now, you get to know. Now, the results is what tells you if I am still speaking as a man, then there's no problem. But after that, my life changed. In fact, I actually didn't have the opportunity to be educated. All this English you see me speak, I was never educated. I just want to be sure how you were able to deduce that God, it was God who was talking to you. How sure are you? <laughs> how sure are you? I, want to, I just want to know how sure are you that I, you I, don't know I whether am. it was some, your great, great father be, uh, we will be, how do you know it was God? Now, nobody on this earth can tell us he even knew it was God. You find out it is God after the results are coming in. The results are coming in at the dim dimension and capacity that is beyond the man. What do you call that? Okay. Anything that is beyond a man has to be God. Okay, so that was God talking to you that. Yeah. Okay, now break it down to the level of immortality. That you said you are not going to die. Yeah. With this your body, you are going to dwell. You are not even talking about reincarnation, but immortality. No, like, no, 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 no. That, like mm. you would, you said you will not die. You live forever in this your body. Uh -huh. So this is what you preach to your members, your church people. Of course. This is what you preach. This is what we are all supposed to preach. No. That's what we are all supposed to preach. Some of us are not there yet. You are there. So it's you who is going to talk to us. <laughs> uh, because it's you who is yes, there of now. Course. Okay. So that's yeah, what I, 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 I don't want it to look like I have found some message from somewhere. This is actually a fundamental of what they call the gospel but of you Jesus have, Christ. But it has gotten through to you. Yes. It has not gotten through to everybody. Of course. So the, the reason we are talking to you. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. So you are giving us what you have experienced. I have not experienced that. Exactly. So I don't know. Exactly. Okay. So how are you and your members going to live forever in this your body? How are you going to be immortal? It's all about, first of all, understanding how man was made. The makeup of man helps you understand what is possible and what is not possible. Okay, break it down for us. Let's, okay. We want to know. Now, first of all, Genesis chapter 1. The beauty of it is, all this things I'm talking about, it's the same Bible. Genesis chapter 1, verse 26, declares the intention of God. He says, God said, let us make man in our own image that is what is written over there but according to the hebrew rendering it is not let us make man in our image because it doesn't even make sense to say let us make man in our image it is let us make man our image because a spirit cannot have an image you need a body to have an image so the spirit needed a body to be to have an image so what does it say let us make man our image so who then is man? Man is God. It's as simple as ABC. Man is God. Now, who is God? Genesis chapter 2, verse 7. God formed man from the dust of the ground, breathed into his nostrils. The, the Hebrew word over there, breathed into his nostrils, is the word that was used when they said Jesus gave up his ghost on the cross. The word gave up his ghost actually connotes God did not put the sculpture there and hmm, breathe it into. No, he gave up himself. He's a spirit. John chapter 4, 24. So God is a spirit. He didn't have to breathe. He wanted a man to become his image. So what did he do? He entered man through his nostrils. And man, I love that, man became a living soul. The word soul is the Hebrew word suke. It also means mind. So man became a living mind. It also means thoughts. So man became a living thought. It also means word. So man became a living word. Then we come to the identity of God. John chapter 1. In the beginning was the word. Oh. If it's a word, then it's a thought. If it's a thought, then it's a mind. If it's a mind, then it's a soul. So God became a living soul. The man became a living word. The man became a living thought. The man became a living mind. So if man is a mind, 
if man is a mind, then it means he has an opportunity to be anything he wants to be. The mind, which is God, entered the body and the body jacked up. So the living capacity of the body is based on the mind. This is not belief system. This is scientific. Because even in the scientific world, neuros, um, um, the neuroscientists understand exactly what we are talking about. That the whole body operates on the capacity of your mind. You lift up your hands because your mind is saying, lift up your hand. This is who man is. Man is not a spirit who lives in a body and has a soul. That's tautology. It's long distance. The word soul is the word mind. The word mind is the word thought. The word thought is the word word. Word is the same word as spirit. John chapter 6 verse 63. It says, the words that I speak, they are spirit. So a word is spirit. Ezekiel chapter 2 verse 2. It said, the spirit entered me when he spoke. So when words come out, a spirit has been born. So when God entered, who is the word from the very beginning, man became. So question, how do I become immortal? That's what I want to know. Romans All you chapter, are saying, you are Romans, telling us how to be a Romans man. chapter 12, mm -hmm. verse 2. Be ye transformed. This is why we have a problem with how the Bible is now looking like. The Bible has a whole lot of stories. But within those stories are truths that need a specialist by grace to go through and pick them up. This book can turn a man into immortal. We want to know how you <laughs> sitting there like that become immortal that you so, will not so, die. Not so, that you will die and reincarnate or your spirit no, no, you no. are telling you see we are you see you are you be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. It's as simple as it is. No, 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 no. Now, now, don't forget meditation. First Timothy chapter 4 verse 15. It says, meditate upon this thing. Give yourself wholly to it and your prophet shall appear to all. In other words, the word you carry that you meditate upon and make the word a part of you is what you become. For instance, for instance, there is a difference between um, biological genetics and mental genetics. That is where our born again mystery comes from, which is not understood by Muslims. How do you mean you are the son of God? Jesus is not the son of God biologically. He is the son of God mentally. But by, he died. By, by way. He died. He died. So, he died as son of man and resurrected son but of you, God. But you, see, you won't even die, uh, die as son of man. You Jesus to came to you. introduce a life all right, Jesus came to introduce a life and according to scripture, he had to die. Do you know the scripture actually says he died so that we will not taste death. Why? I don't know. I, I did not read that. They, 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 I'm coming. They will tell you that um, it is not physically like this. It is a spiritual phenomenon. Mm. Question, do spirits die? So that is why they are Spirits saying. do not die. Neither do they live. Once you use the word living or dying you are not talking about a spirit a spirit does not have the ability to die nor to live it, it is for men. 200 years now to years how um, that is you are talking mortally you are talking mortally oh dear whatever you want to put it it's possible so, are you saying you can stop your growth too with god with God, you will stop your growth. With God, all things are... That is immortality. Immortality hey. is the ability to stop your flesh from decaying. The scripture says, I will renew your youth like that of the eagle. Mommy Grace, what we are dealing with here is a serious topic. Men are dying every day. Hey, so, I'm coming now. Me, I'm coming now. So, are you saying those who are doing a whole lot... <laughs> you are watching Revelations though. 
great. I, I swear my eyes have seen. <laughs> <laughs> my ears are red. <laughs> I said, I want to mama. <laughs> you over me. <laughs> you are watching Revelations. How to become immortal. <laughs> now, you're not going to be tired. Tired about what? The more you grow, the more you have the wisdom to help the ones who are coming up. So is it now becoming a joy to die? No one ever loves death. No one is happy to die. Even those who are saying we will die and go to heaven. When you say, okay, die and go to heaven, you are crying. This is your topic. So we are still on your profile. So you watched Pastor Chris from the beginning so that is where you can say you have a bit of background from or you've gone through some of these pastors you've gone through the hands of this some of these pastors oh no no so do you Never. have a spiritual father <laughs> ah, I, I i am like moses you i am are. like moses i'm like elijah you are like moses i'm then, like then, moses. then say you I'm are like elijah then say you are like joshua because it was joshua who nobody made made him I don't get it. Because Moses was made mm -hmm. out of Pharaoh's house. Made? Yes. That's why he, oh, no, he no, got he, all he, his he, trainings he, he, from. But he did not have, he did not have what we call a spiritual father. No, if I say, we, 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 I said, you, have you gone through the hands of some of these pastors? No. Just so that if I, I am able to know if, if, where if you... I, if, no, I have not gone through the hands so of So you any. can't compare yourself to Moses. Moses went through I'm not of... comparing. I said I'm like, I'm of that descent. He didn't have a spirit father like you're talking about. Elijah didn't have. Jesus didn't have. Paul didn't have. So there are special ones who come with a message. Now, if I am here with a message that is is that has never been heard before, then who is the one who introduced me into the message? I have to be the only career of the message. Okay, so uh, simple. You didn't go through the hands of yeah. uh, anybody, and at least you listened to Pastor Chris. Yeah, from the beginning. You have yeah. to give him the credit. Uh, that, that's exactly what I'm doing. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So, um, you know Pastor Chris Church. People yes, are of course. Christ Ambassador. Yeah. Yeah, people so, are dying. Uh -huh. So, yeah. Yeah. the message they preach over there is not is not immortality. According to your faith, be it done unto you. So they don't preach solely on immortality. So, so that's possible. So that they would die. Yes. So where they preach solely immortality, on immortality is you, where you will not die. You are not supposed to die. Okay. I use the word you are not supposed to because not everybody is really paying attention. Okay, you are not supposed to die. Okay, so now you have a church. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm actually, um, I'm actually having a school. You are having a school o online, yeah. But not a church. A school of immortality, no. I'm but not, not a church. I'm, I'm not into. Who, 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 I mean, you should, like you are supposed to be happy is. with me that we are campaigning. This is good news. This is the good news. Any other thing is nothing. I don't know what else. You is think good news. this life is easy that you should sit here for 200 years? No, you are. You, before you might have entered into that life of immortality, we are not talking about aging so that you are, you are, why you are and you cannot live life. That's not what I'm talking about. This is your, this is your topic. So I don't want us to mess it up. This is your topic. So let's still stay in your uh, profiling. Because I'm going to talk about your topic. Because you're going to talk about your topic. Because you're going to talk about your steps. One, yes. two, three, four. I'll be very glad. Uh -huh. yeah. I'm going to talk about your topic. But I'm going to talk about your topic. Because I'm going to talk about your topic. Because I'm going to talk about your Yeah, once you enter so into immortality. after death, mm -hmm. after death, those who are dying, what is the, the what happens you are reincarnated you are there is no such thing as heaven heaven is here mm -hmm. all right there's no such thing as heaven so death when you die you recycle and come back the only problem is that you cannot be in the same body you came with so for me i ask myself after where i've reached and where i want to get to i die and then i don't get the chance to continue because I can't remember my past life. 
So you can stop debt and move forward. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. And move forward. Yeah. Okay, so this one that you are not going to die. Ah, uh, um, your belief system, your school, no? um, apart from say Obiungu, no? what are other unusual things that is part of the preaching? I teach, all I teach is unusual. Everything. And that's why I'm saying Every immortality topic. is one. Yeah, for so instance, give us some. For instance, <laughs> it will sound weird. God doesn't exist. Are you confused now? No. The same God that appeared to you, now he doesn't exist. You see, you see, God does not exist. What is existence? Existence, existence is time. Existence is equal to time. Time is existence. Existence is time. So when we say God doesn't exist, it, you are actually making him bigger. To add God to existence is an insult to his deity. How can the one who created the computer live inside the computer? God is not inside the computer he created. God was living outside time. He was living outside existence when he brought about existence. That is the greatness of God I am bringing about. Every other man of God who says God exists is limiting God. So, is it that same Bible we use in church? That's what you are using. Exactly. So, how do you get your explanations? This is why I said, if you are a true man God, the word is not man of God, it's man God. In other words, God in a body. You should have a word. You should have a word. Paul was not using this Bible. This Bible wasn't there. This book wasn't there. It's a question. When the Bible wasn't there and they had to write off them, what were they living by? So, immortality, one, you won't die. Mm -hmm. Imagine I say 500 years. <laughs> no, you're one. <laughs> Two, God does not exist. God doesn't exist. Okay, it limits him. So it limits his personality, okay. and his, then his what, identity. I want to know all you believe in the church or in the school. Uh -huh, and, yeah. And you've got into. Ah, uh, <laughs> it's it's a lot. Okay. You um, give me five. Okay, Don't okay, give me okay, all. Okay. Um. Um. Satan is not Lucifer. Satan is not Lucifer. Yeah, and there is no such thing as Satan, as they put it. Satan is the same God. God is Satan. Satan is God. God is Satan. Satan is God. Yeah. God is Satan. Satan is God. Number three or four. I'm <laughs> taking only five. Hey. What else? What else? What else? A, a lot. A lot. A lot. Uh, so I want only five. Oh. Me, I'm not selfish. <laughs> I'm not greedy. Mm -hmm. mm, what are the other Immortality. Topics? God does not exist. Mm -hmm. Satan is God. God is Satan. I, I don't know when no that possibility excuse, will no come nothing. when I will meet with Avram Bemoshe because 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 um there is a need that he uses his wisdom to help because i think he's so wise to help bring out the truth in the scriptures because he's making it look as if the bible is useless the bible is not useless do you know opinions are like noses I am not sure. There's a different. Listen, one plus one is not an opinion. My point is, this is your level of understanding, and that is his level of understanding. No, no. It, and me, what you are you, saying you see, about yourself right now, your your what you are preaching to me right now, it's like you said, you don't say anything usual. So, assuming Abraham too doesn't say anything usual, what is that your? No, problem? We, 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 no. It, I, I don't have a problem with him. My problem with him is that he is attacking. He is attacking like a woman. But are you, are you not attacking the bishops like a girl? I'm not, I'm not doing that. I'm just stating the facts. He is also stating the facts. Anyway, I am not... What, I am, what he I'm, is saying... You know what? what? On this platform, one thing I bless God for is that anybody you say anything about here, even you, this thing that you are saying, you are talking about, if it's not so okay for someone... And he said, yeah, I want to meet you. I make sure the platform is open. Yeah. It's an educational platform. Yeah. So these things that you are saying, I can't answer for everyone. If yeah. he decides to answer, yeah. fine. Oh, no, 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 no problem. I'm mm -hmm. just saying that I, I have a problem because the, the ones who are ignorant, do you know many have been scooped out from the church? Listening to but me. Are you also not scooping some out of the church? How? How, how? When you listen to my message, uh -huh. it gives you the sense of singularity. It gives you more power. What we are doing is religion. Religion, what?
haven't you realized how we are not building anything? The church is utterly useless. Are you? And that is me? where Avram Ben Moshe gets the chance to talk. We are useless in our nation. Why can? Why would one man of God by name Elijah cause such shake in a nation? Moses one made Egypt tremble. How many oracles do we have in Ghana? In Nigeria. Now, what have you made? Have you made anybody tremble with your immortality? As we speak right now, as we speak right mm -hmm. now, I am not like those who have gotten. I'm now coming up. You are not coming up to now. Okay, can you? Okay, can you? Because this, I'm now coming up. I don't have the exposures that they have. That is why I'm speaking of those who have the exposure. All right, those who have the exposure should speak right. For instance, Please forgive me to say this. There was one time, I'm coming. There, there was one time, Abraham Ben Moshe said, Had it not been him, many ministers of God are now said, We knew this thing before I ever heard him. When we started speaking this 15 years ago, that we started talking about these kind of things. So the fact that you had a chance to be on air to talk about certain things doesn't mean. No, he says, He says, He believes God exists. Now, I say, God doesn't exist. The, now, so look at the, the dimensions. He, gets, he got his opportunity you are sitting on this huge platform so preach your preaching <laughs> you are rather preaching him no i'm not I, i'm and just you are trying saying he has opportunity no I, i'm no i'm trying to say that he should not say he was the one that brought it is out. it not time that brought you to this level time yes is it not time you said you started that is why i'm saying that if time don't you think that do, same do you God... know that do you know that after all i know I never say I'm the only one that knows. No, what I'm saying is that... I'm saying he should not say that he brought it out. I believe there are many ministers of God who know the truth, like I'm speaking, but I've not gotten the platform. So he should, he should say it that... Um, he shouldn't say that he has opened the eyes of some ministers. That's his opinion. And that's All what right. he believes. All right. It shouldn't be your problem. He, he, he's not, anyway, he's not a believer, so he doesn't believe. That's, so what, why is he your problem right now? Because if I come and meet someone speaking and as a result it's destroying my children, I will talk. Your children? Yeah, my people. Your. The body of Christ. Ah, Omunguno. Those who have packed a lot of millions of people in the body of Christ. Ah, Okano. What have you done? Abraham, no your problem. Abraham, Christ, oh, no, India, no, you know, make you unbelievers. Isn't he? Your children, and you can always go for them. Because they don't have I the, didn't say uh, I, I'm, I was making an analogy. Matthias, that yeah. what the one Sakamemba. That's exa like exactly Sa what I'm saying. And my people, all right. So when he's speaking, that I think that Ayabuapayo like intentional. I said I will call him for he is not here and he is not the topic. Your topic, this is your profile. So now that um, I will bet we are seeing. After we are seeing about we, do you people marry one or five? <laughs> ah, the, the, the matter of polygamy is, is actually not sh supposed to be an issue. I think it should be taught the way sex is taught. Um, you teach people about sex and allow them to decide whether they want to marry, did they want to have sex at this particular time or not. You don't say that um, I can't teach my child because she is just maybe um, she's just 10 years old, she shouldn't know about it, and you are lying to her. Polygamy is not wrong. Okay, so let us not sideline men who have married more than one. It is not wrong for a man to marry more than one, but wrong for a woman to marry more than one. I will not uh, debate on that. That why should a, a woman marry one? <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I don't want to talk about that. Now, be some obi a woo woo. Yes, and you are fifty kura ni eni ni obi a. Now, be some obi a obi a ko. I also want to talk about that. Now, be some obi a woo woo. Okay, now that God does not exist and there is no heaven, you won't also die. So what becomes what become of you in this world? You God does not exist because you exist as him. Okay. So he doesn't need to exist okay. when you are there. Okay. So we are supposed to reign as him on this earth. Okay. And rule with his descent and thoughts. That's all. Uh, that's what I'm saying, that you won't die, so you will remain on this earth, doing what? Assuming, you... assuming like what I'm saying, if you are to take it practically, mm -hmm. and God was, you see, we say what we say religiously. Everyone says, God is in me. God is in me. Do you, do you even understand what it means? The scripture talks about a demon-possessed man at the land of the, of, of the gatherings. And the scripture says, 
a, um, a legion of demon was in him. Guess what? As a result of the legion of demon inside him, a man could actually take, it could actually break fetters. Didn't say chains. Fetters are those olden days strong chains. A man could use his hand to break it. Why? There was a spirit dwelling in him. The stature of your spirit determines the stature of your body. So you can't tell me God lives in you and you are not God. You define the spirit in you defines you. What will make one God? When God dwells in you, what are the evidence? What are the things that you are supposed to see the person doing to know that? Oh, wait. There are two God. dimensions. Oh. There is a dimension where you are advertising God and manifesting God. Majority in the body of Christ are advertising God. That is. They can heal other people, but can't heal themselves. So while he's having, and this is a problem, while he's healing other people at major crusades, after the program, he even say, I am so much stressed. After the program, hey, I went through a lot of stress. So they have to now admit him because he had an attack. And this is what is confusing people. How does a person who causes cripples to rise up and command the dead to rise himself be disattacked the problem is there are two dimensions where you are advertising when i'm advertising for mommy grace it is no longer my strength i am taking all the inspiration she just sent me that i should go and show this to people so all the capacity and the strength is coming from here my weakness doesn't matter so a man of God can do anything he wants to do and still be advertising God. So we have prophets today who do not live the way they are supposed to live as men of God and are still performing miracles because they are just advertising. So what kind of people do you have in your school? What kind of people, if I say the caliber of people do you have in your school? The so they, of they, they feel forms when they come to mm -hmm, the school, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. to, just so, to keep it yeah. So what I'm, kind I'm, of... Do you I'm, have... I'm, 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 amazingly, it's the, the people who already have an understanding. Because obviously... When, oh, when, no, when what, you, I, what I mean is, are they, do you have doctors, lawyers, this, that, that? Oh, yeah. I have, I have, I have a whole lot of group of people um, who are into different things. We have bankers and all those... Well-educated people. Oh, all of them are well educated okay. my son i came here with mm. <laughs> he's a teacher in uh, um, um, tamasco okay. a, a, a graduate in the okay. university so i am asking a question so do you people go to hospital do you people go to stress? i am teaching the truth so those who have not gotten it you can no, still be taking care of yourself those who have gotten it those who, those have, who have gotten it do not do those things they don't do those things so they are doctors who are they waiting for who are they waiting for them to give them medicine they don't forsake i can they help body. you the human who needs help but if i don't need that help i don't have to you don't have the to. scripture is clear on that say i am the god that healed thee and yet he said and yet he said um i've made um the fruits are for eating and the herbs are for the healing of the nations and so his majesty makes it available god makes it available for those who have not yet gotten the truth. So do you use them now that you've gotten the truth? Do I use what? The herbs I, I, the I, No, I don't use herbs. I but don't, I, 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 I don't live on drugs at the moment. Do you eat? Do I what? Do you eat? Do I eat food? Yes. Oh, yes, I eat. You eat? Nothing. Jesus oh, resurrected from the dead and ate. Oh, oh, yani, huh? When Jesus resurrected from the dead, he ate. Oh, did he? Oh, Jesus resurrected from the dead. It's a known story. He resurrected from the dead and then he met two of his disciples who he walked together with and then they didn't recognize him until he said, um, do you have some bread? And then they were like, ah, who is this? Can we sit down and break bread together? And immediately he said that they recognized, ah, that we have been working with the master all this while and we did not know. He ate. On top of that, he came back and then went to the shore and then called his disciples, have you caught anything? And they're like, ah, this is our master who is telling us, ah, Jesus is back. They jumped in. By the time they got back, he was grilling fish. You are, you, are, you are talking about immortality. That's your topic. Yeah. What's that now? How? Because when you say something, it's opposite, opposite. Why? Because, because the one who is immortal cannot eat. No, that's not what I'm saying. Like, Why? I said everything you are saying. It's opposite. Uh, you yourself use no. I did, I'm not saying contradictions. All right. 
You are saying you don't say usual things. Yes. Which is true. Yes. You said you won't die. Yes. You said uh, uh, um, there is no God. Yes. God, God does not exist. Yes. You said uh, God is Satan. Satan is God. Yes. Am I correct? Yes. Are these not opposite ways? And I'm busy. So what should I do now? Oh, the truth. Are you okay? Like everything is fine. Everything is perfectly okay. normal. That's what we are going to talk about. You are watching Revelations. Me yaji me niso. Me pray. Na ma prayer kudum pen pen so be a me yaji me niso. Na so inshallah. Me jina me nasi. You are finally out. My name is Mami Grace. Today I am here with the other Jesus. <laughs> so God willing tomorrow. We will talk about how to become immortality. Said the awungu. Asembiya ubeti biati na femu aba. Asembiya e fi ni penu mu bebi e woho. Uti ne fi ni penu e pie. Uti ya uti mi diye bibi. Ema ni ye ye e dema. Uti achina e be siya said the ubeye immortality. Uwu na ubeti na se. Ose ne body ni mu ane chese mi jidi se ni ani bi wakra ubi jidi di ni adia. Unye boho boho. This program is fully sponsored by Global Eagle Revival Outreach Ministries, a not-for-profit organization. To support our broadcast to reach others like you, kindly send support to Zenith Bank, Ghana. Account number 6012402066. Account name, Global Eagle Revival Outreach Ministries. La Trade Fair Branch, Camp. Mobile Money Account, Merchant, 0544-859-007. Name, Global Eagle Revival Outreach Ministry. Reference, Revelations or TWMG, Time with Mommy Grace.